Hello, hi Floss Tube. My name is Sarah and this is my very first Floss Tube ever. Thank you for watching my video. I'm really excited to be here. You may know me on Instagram. My name there is Handmade by Sarah W. I've met a lot of really fun friends through that Instagram and I'm just excited to possibly step into the world of Floss Tube. Maybe, maybe not. I thought I'd just give it a try. I love watching floss tube. I love it. And I love all things cross stitch. So I thought, why not? Why not give it a try? So here we are. It is May 29th and it's Memorial Day. So I hope you're having a great Memorial Day with your family. I did. It was a really relaxing, fun day. And we just got done cooking out and just eating and relaxing, and here I am to talk to you about some cross-stitch. Um, just to introduce myself to you a little bit, if I don't know you already, I'm Sarah, and I'm in Alabama, and I love cross-stitch, and I love to sew, and I'm learning to quilt, and I just hope that we can just chat about all these things and it's fun and I'll show you some stuff I'm working on and I hope you see something you like. So I thought today I would just keep it short and simple and I would show you some patriotic stitches that I have, some fully finished items and then some that I have finished stitching but I need to fully finish and I have one patriotic whip that I'm almost done with. I might even can finish it today. So let's start with the things that I fully finished. So last year I stitched the three things that I'm about to show you. And the first one I'll start with, it's called Happy Independence Day by Primrose Cottage Stitches. I really liked this pattern. I'll show you, this is it. I really liked this because I love the different fonts in it. That's what really drew me to it. And these cute little, firecrackers. I think they're so cute. And there is, if you see right there, there's a little button. I finished this last year and I, I was just ready to get it fully finished and display it. And I did it and I did it quick and I, and I didn't like how I finished it. So I took it apart and then I made it into this flat fold finish. So it can stand up all by itself. I got this um, tutorial from Fat Quarter Shop she had a really good, easy to follow tutorial on how to finish it. Um, but let's talk about the stitching a little bit. So I used a an Ada that I coffee tea dyed myself on this. I think it turned out pretty good with the patriotic colors. I believe I used mostly the called for colors on it. If not, they're very, very close. Um, called for inspired, if you will. Now, the next two I'm gonna show you. The designer is the same designer for both. Now, you would have known her previously as um, Salt and Pepper Stitching. Now, you'll know her as Emily Call Stitching. Both of these are her designs, and I did the very same thing that I did on that other one. I fully finished them, and I didn't like how I did it, so I changed my mind, took it apart, and I made these into pillows. So this one is called Fourth of July, and I believe I used all the called for colors on it. This one is called Long May She Wave, and I believe I used all the called for on it as well. The pillows. So I used a tutorial to make these. I've got the rick rack around them, fabric on the back. Don't look too close, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good where I stitched them up. Um, Carrie from Tiger Lily Designs. Hey, Carrie. She is such a good friend. Just love her to death. She has a really good tutorial for doing pillow finishes. And if you're a little unsure about how to finish them, or maybe you know how to finish them, but this could just be a different method that you want to try, you should just check out her video. It's very good. And I think those look pretty good. So those are already downstairs and displayed, but I've got uh, three finishes to show you now that are not fully finished. Now, first I'm gonna show you 
the project keeper that these are in. Isn't it beautiful? This is from my April Project Keeper subscription box. This is a quarterly subscription, if you don't already know, from Carrie from Tiger Lily Designs. <laughs> and so when this one was coming out, which by the way, you can still get on her wait list for this. If you're not in the club and you wanna get in the club, get on the wait list, friends. Okay, <clears throat> when she was coming out with this, we were talking about what are we gonna put in it ASAP? We need to be stitching something out of this bag now. We talked about doing some patriotic smalls. And this book, Sweet Land of Liberty. Love this, I love everything in this book. I love it, it's beautiful. I love Blackbird, you know, who doesn't? So, we started there. And we started with, and I'll show you the first one we did. This one is called Sweet Land of Liberty. Look at that house. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I love the flag. Oh, I just love it. Every time I look at it, I just love it. Um, okay, so then from there, on the same piece of fabric, which is Wren from Picture This Plus, we did, and it is called In Full Glory. Isn't that sweet? Look at that flag. Oh, I love it. I love both. It. Like, why are these not fully finished already? I don't know what I'm waiting on. <clears throat> so I'm going to get those done ASAP. Those are also going to be made into pillows to go into my doodle. Okay. The, um, I'll show you the next one. This is not fully finished, but it's a whip and it's out of that same book. Now, this one... Those, uh, those other two that I just showed you were on Wren from Picture This Plus. It says 16 count. So I used two strands. And I used some called for, some not. Like some fancy, some DMC on both of those. This one is called American Eagle. This one at the bottom. And this is the one that I'm working on now. And I'm using all the DMC called for on it. And I think it looks great. Love it. So, all I have left are the windows and around the door and the eagle and to finish the flag. And then I'm done. This could probably get done tonight if I really sat down and did it. I don't know if I will, but, you know, we'll try. <laughs> okay. The last patriotic little stitch that I have this was a freebie design. You can still get it. And it's the Sunbonnet 4th of July. <sighs> Isn't she cute? From Carrie from Tiger Lily Designs. <laughs> I know I keep mentioning her, but she's the best. I love her. Um, and she she's a good, she's a really good friend and she helps me out and, and I just really appreciate her. And anyway, she um, designed this. It's really cute. Love this dress. Like that's my just my favorite part. She's so precious. Anyway, I'm gonna fully finish her and I think I know how I'm gonna do it. I just need to do it. Um, oh, and this is a project keeper that I made with Carrie's pattern. So if you are not in the club or you know, you just wanna try to make it yourself, she does have a pattern. And I, you know, I know how to use my machine. I'm not some like great sewer <laughs> or anything, but I, I could follow it. And the great thing about her pattern is it comes with an exclusive video where she walks you step by step. You can watch her making it every step of the way. And so that's how I learn. I, you know, I wanna see you do it and then I wanna do the same thing and just copy you. So. I have been able to make several of these for myself and use her her video and pattern. Um, I think that's all that I wanted to show you today. If you're still watching, <laughs> thank you. It's my first video, you know, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Um, 
maybe I'll come back. Hopefully, you know, this is well received and maybe you'd be interested in seeing some more of the things that I'm up to stitching. I really like to stitch big samplers, but I also really like smaller stitches too. Um, you know, you never know <laughs> what I have going on. I like doing stitch alongs a lot. It's my favorite. I like to be, you know, I love to talk to my friends about what they're stitching and if we're stitching the same thing and just the whole process is really fun to me. I really love to plan a stitch and to stitch a stitch and to talk about a stitch. Like I love cross stitching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been stitching for a long time. I, I learned as a kid, you know, and, um, my mom taught me and it's just, I, I don't know. There's just something about it. <laughs> just pulling that needle through. It is the most relaxing thing in the world to me. And, you know, I can still be with my family and, and be sitting and watching a movie and, and doing it. And so I don't feel like I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm still present and I can still do it. And it's just my favorite thing ever. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for joining me and sticking it out this long. And I hope you saw something you liked and maybe you want to come back if I have another video. I, and I, I really hope to and I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.